Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to be here this evening on a, on a wet, miserable evening. Usually when I'm out and about at the Adventure Playground, uh, the sun's shining, there's miles of smiley faces, and in Pittsmore here, we're very lucky. Um, for people who don't know what an Adventure Playground is, it's, it's a space that's fen fenced off uh, and has workers working with the children. It's, it's a space where the children can choose to come and go freely and to, to do things that children used to do in past generations. Uh, I've been very fortunate uh, to, to, to come to Pittsmore. I arrived in Pittsmore in 1994, uh, and I know I only look 22, but actually I'm 50. Um, I, I worked at the Adventure Playground for six years and I had some of the best times of my life at the Adventure Playground. Um, Absolutely amazing community, uh, very diverse. Um, it's a place um, where children used to play freely, but unfortunately, several years ago, due to austerity, the council were going to cut the service, and we've had to establish a charity to, to, to sort of reset it up and redesign what the offer is. We've now got a, a charity called Pittsmoor Adventure Playground CIO, and there's many people in this room that have helped support and develop that so when I was given the opportunity to say a few words by Martin tonight about children and bloody kids, I couldn't resist. So we're three years into Pittsmore Adventure Playground CIO's project, and uh, it's a vibrant place. If you've got children aged between 5 and 13, please bring them down, or smaller children. It's great. It's like when lots of people in the past could play naturally, so we'd do some water play, we'd have water fights, we've got some fire play, there's sand pits, there's a large slide, we've got loose parts, we den build, we've got community artists, we've got music, we've got quite a few people who are presenting tonight who have participated in, in the work of it. But for me, Pittsmore Adventure Playground has been eight years out of my life, it's been an amazing journey with an amazing community. You know, we get in, historically we've had a lot of bad press. It's one of the most cohesive communities I've ever worked in, and I've, I've had the pleasure of working across Sheffield. Um, and one of the, the greatest things that the children tell me is that they like being together. They like playing together. They like learning together. You know, recently we had a visit from the Sheffield Star, and they called it a children's paradise. Now, that's something from the Sheffield Star, isn't it, really? Um, in the last year, we've been fortunate to be recognised as a national award-winning playground, and we've got a tremendous team of local residents, volunteers, paid workers, and community partners, and everybody contributes. And to me, really, I've got one of the best jobs in the world. Um, and really, we've all got to stand up for Pittsmoor and stand up for the community, and the diverti diversity is the most important thing about it. You know, collectively, people do a responsible thing to try and make us move apart, but I think the best thing about Pittsmoor is the people and the children. Uh, and I think that you've got an amazing area. Let's all work together and look after it. And thanks for listening to me for a few minutes.